Let us today do decimals. Let us learn what are decimals, how to read the decimals, and how to change decimals into fractions and so on. So, a uh, decimal number is that number whose whole number part and fractional part is separated by a decimal point. It means a decimal number has three parts. One is the whole number. After that, we place decimal, and then we have fractional part. For example, here we have the decimal number 35.26 here. This black color point is called decimal point. Before this point, we have whole number part. And after this point, we have decimal part or you can say fractional part. Now, in this number 35.26, this point is called decimal point. Before this point on left side, we have five. This five is in one's place. Before five, we have the number three. This three is in tens place. Now, after this decimal, we have number two. This number two is in tenth place, and this six is in hundredth place. Every number which is on the left side of the decimal is 10 times bigger than the previous number. And every number which is after the decimal is 10 times smaller. Now, let us have a look on decimal place value chart. Now here, in decimal place value chart, we put the decimal in the center. And before decimal, we have ones, tens, hundreds, and so on. After decimal, we have the places tenth, hundredth, and thousandth. Now, before this decimal, we have the whole number part. And after decimal, we have decimal part. Now, decimal number. Suppose we are having this number. How to read it? Now, we know that before point, we have the whole number part. And after point, we have the decimal part. Now, we read this number as 35.268. How we read this? Before decimal, we read the number as we are reading according to the Indian system. But after decimal, we have to read each digit in a single way. We have to read each digit singly, 268. We can't say 268. No, that will be wrong then. What is the alternative way to read this? Now, alternative way to read this is, we will write now places on the top of each digit. This is 10th place. So we can write T, T, H. This is 100th place. We can write H, T, H. This is 1000th place. So we can write it as T, H, T, H. Now, we can read this number as 35 and 268 thousandth i repeat it we can read this number in alternative way as 35 and 268 thousandth first of all we note down this number and after this we are writing the places on the top of this number this zero is in one's place so we write o this one is in tenth place so we write t t h this two is in hundredth place so we write h t h now we can read this number as 0 0.12. Alternative way to read this is now after this decimal is in hundredth place. So we can read this as 12 hundredth. Now let us learn how to write a given fraction as decimal. Let us have the fraction 19 by 10. Now when we have to convert this fraction in decimal, we have to first count how many zeros are following one in the denominator. Now see, in denominator, we are having the number 10. After this one, we are having one zero. So we will write this number 19, which is in the numerator as such. We will start from our right hand side go towards left, count one digit, and then put a decimal. So decimal number corresponding to 19 by 10 is 1.9. Let us have the another number, 257 upon 100. Now you see here, 
in denominator you are having the number 100 100 is having two zeros so we will start from our right hand from the number 7 go towards the left hand count to 1 2 and then we will place a decimal before 5 so the decimal number corresponding to this fraction is 2.57 now let us have one more example suppose we are having the fraction 36 upon say 1000 now we count in denominator we have 1 2 3 3 three zeros so what to do we will note down the denominator we will note down this numerator as such then we will count from our right hand side 1 2 3 now only we'll, there is no more digits so we'll put one zero here now before three digits we'll put a decimal but now here is no whole number because the decimal number is a combination of a whole number and a decimal number so we will put the whole number zero here so decimal number corresponding to the fraction 36 upon 1000 is 0.036 let us have one more example we are having here the fraction 6 upon 1000 what we have to do is when we have to convert this 6 upon 1000 into decimal number we will just note down this number 6 now this 1000 is having 1 2 3 3 three zeros so we will start from our right hand go towards left and count 3 1 2 Three and before three digits, we need to put a decimal. Now, here we don't have the three digits. We are only having the one digit. So we put two zeros in those two places. And now, before decimal, we must have a whole number. So to complete that whole number, we put zero. So decimal number corresponding to six upon one thousand is zero point zero zero six. now let us learn how to write this 7 by 100 in the form of decimals now again as we have done now we will write this 7 now in denominator we have 100 1 followed by two zeros so what to do we will count two digits from right go towards our left hand one digit two digit second digit is not there so we put there zero before this we will put zero this point and before point we must have a whole number so we put the whole number zero so decimal number corresponding to 7 by 100 is 0.07 to write fraction for the given decimal number suppose we are having the decimal number 1.34 and we want to write this decimal number as fraction so what we have to do is we have to write all the digits which are in this decimal number so we write 1 3 4 so we have the number 134 this becomes our numerator and for denominator we see how many digits are after this decimal see after decimal we are having 1 2 we are having two digits after the decimal so we will write here 1 followed by two zeros so decimal number 1.34 can be written as fraction as 134 upon 100 let us write fraction corresponding to 5.423 first of all we will write all the digits they all will be in the numerator 5 4 2 3 by now here after decimal we are having 1 2 3 since after decimal we are having three digits so we will write 1 followed by three zeros that is 1000 so fraction corresponding to 5.423 is 5423 by 1000 now let us learn how to write expanded form of the given decimal number first let us write the decimal in place value form suppose 
we are having the decimal number 563.27 first of all for writing this in expanded form we write the place of each digit on the top now this 3 is in ones place 6 is in tens place 5 is in hundreds place after decimal we have 2 this is in tenth place 7 is in hundredth place so we write 5 hundreds plus 6 tens plus 3 ones plus 2 tens plus 7 hundreds now let us write the given number in decimal form now we have the same number and we want to write the expanded form in the form of decimals so again we will write the places of each digit on the top then we will write as this 5 is in hundreds place so we can write 500 plus 60 plus 3 plus 0.2 plus 0.0 set decimal number 563.27 then we write places on the top of each digit then to write fractional form what we do we write expanded form as 500 plus 60 plus 3 plus Now this two is in tenth place, so in form of fractions we can write it as two by ten plus. Now this seven is in hundredth place, so we can write as seven by hundred. 